sanding back that blue bit looks slightly strange so I am just going to add a little bit of the yellow ochre and whilst we've got that on a brush let's do the stamens Gonna have a matching pair with them sort of facing into each other so I think it's quite nice if you group things like this together and I'm using the Loxy, Loxley Luxury Canvas you can see they're finished beautifully they're an inch deep and it's just five inches so it's very small and this is a very easy picture to do so we're going to start with the C and I've got my interactive paints and I've got some impasto gel so I'm going to start by adding some blue and some white to the gel and then we we'll scrape that across for our sky I'll put a little gel on to start with oh we didn't want that far let's get this off I do tend to get in a big big mess Maybe we will have a bit of that colour. So now the, the white and the blue. Put the blue on first. And I want it quite thick because when I want to put the cells in, we're wanting to um let's take that round the sides too whilst we're at it. makes it easier later on I'm trying to get that to sit on the top let's get some white as well right next to me just mix some of that there I love this experimenting and messing around, it's so much fun and because I don't want it to be too dark. Scrape that along so it's quite smooth. Yeah, I think that would be fine. And then the C, I'm going to use just the edge of the card and I'm going to use some of the darker blue, some of the Prussian blue, some of the blue we've just used and maybe a little bit of green and sort of get that C shape in there. Let's go darker in places like the green. <coughs> Sorry. So the green, the Prussian blue, cobalt blue. It's a lovely texture. Take that around the edge. And bearing in mind we're going to paint some of the yachts around there too later on. Um, yeah, that needs to be more sort of like that, I think. And then get some white in here and there. Yeah, I like that for my sea. Well, I'm going to stick with the colours that we used for the other one, but I'm just having them going the other way. So let's just wipe that card. And let's start. I think we're up front, we'll have a turquoise one this time. And that could be our main one. 
So it can be slightly off centre. Just run that down. And you're sort of moulding it into what you've got underneath. Let's get some moulding paste into that too. Losing the turquoise, let's go back. And that can come right down into the water. Wipe that and then go back to the turquoise again because I seem to be picking up so many other colours. That's better. That's good. And then wipe that and into the white. And let's have a bit of flow with that because it's in the wind. We'll put some more white out get through a lot of paint doing this. So and we've got the thickener in there too, so let's just sort of bring that around. That's fine. Use a little brush and let's go for the white. Yeah. And a bit of dribble coming off. Never hurts. And then that red black. So just keep it simple. Don't fuss. Whatever you do, don't fuss. That's a nice dark. And we have a dark line going underneath there, which we can always put back in later if we lose it because that's wet. And then I'm going to use the edge of my card with some Prussian blue and red black just to put that mast in there. And maybe a little bit there to give it shape. That's good. And let's dribble a little line of that along here and then I want some other little boats in so we go for the smaller card and again I think why not go for a yellow because I'm going to use yellow down the side of the other one and I think maybe we could have a bit of yellow coming through here that would show there Take that down into the water. And I think one of the magentas for the other boat. So into the magenta. That could be here. And wipe that and then we'll go for the white. So we're keeping it the simpler you can keep it the better it's going to look. That's catching in the wind. And there's a little bit of that showing. Not too much. Just there. And then we've got to have our brush and blue and our black. Our mass. Just dab it. Ooh, maybe not that much. Same there. And then our little boat that we can see at the bottom. So a little bit of white. Just uh, can't see that one. And a little bit of that dark Prussian blue. And we'll darken that up later if we need to. And it's a little bit messy. So it's got a little bit of work to do on this. Now I'm just going to grab a card and I'm going to put I think some red here because we can look at that from um, around the side. So that just sort of goes in like that. A little bit of white for the white cell. Try and get 
some movement into that bit of a point and maybe we could have a yellow on that side uh, which way around should we have it I might as well have it facing that way Picking up some of the other colour, that's fine, and into the white. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of something dark. It's just the Prussian blue. And there, so you just run that along. Amazing what you could do with a credit card. Then a little bit of um, white paint. Or maybe something dark at the back. And then whatever way you look at it, you can see those shots. Now, I think that's a little bit untidy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into it with another card. I've put something onto a palette knife this time, some more turquoise and I'm just going to try and get that a little bit more smooth. And when that dries that will dry flatter. It's just a little bit tidier and I can maybe do the same with some white the other side make sure that's clean into the white just... in fact I think I use a brush well, you can use whatever works really make sure there's white to smooth out that turquoise that's just a bit more lumpy if I wanted it lumpy there's lumpy and there's lumpy so there's with acrylic you could do anything there we go now the only thing that I've got to do now is to finish the sea at the bottom so with your brush sea colours Whatever they are, some Prussian blue. You can mix them a little bit if you want to. Got a lovely fallow green can go in there. Get a bit of French ultramarine. Add some white. to see and now we have a lovely little pair so um, I hope you'll have a go at doing this and you'll have fun that's so easy and so quick <laughs> 